Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We're going to look again at the risk of snow across parts of the UK during the next few days. And I've got to say, it's probably now looking the most interesting in terms of widespread and possibly significant snowfall uh, it has done throughout basically the entire cold spell. And actually, uh, as we go through the next few days, we are at risk of some places seeing a fairly decent uh, amount of snow. So just taking a quick look at the overall pattern, you can still see here we've got our kind of remnants of a northeasterly across the UK continuing to bring in some snow showers across the east and also maintaining that cold snow conducive air over us uh, as you can see highlighted by those kind of blue colours and actually today in London I saw the first snow of the winter uh, fittingly it was on the actual first day of winter uh, but nothing much but still exciting to see nonetheless uh, but as I play through uh, this kind of model run during the weekend you can see we get have a couple of kind of small disturbances and low pressure systems moving through and as we get those lows moving through uh, <clears throat> and then another one uh, into Monday as well what we will see is the risk of uh, snow as that precipitation bumps into the cold air Looking kind of more specifically from uh, tonight into Sunday, this is a snow map I just posted on my Twitter about 10 minutes ago, uh, and it's kind of giving you an overview of what kind of areas are at risk. Uh, as a disclaimer, not everywhere within the shaded regions will see snow, and some places in the shaded regions will see more uh, or less than there forecasted by this key down here, but it gives you kind of a nice overall sense of currently which areas are expected to see the most snowfall. And you can see quite nicely, uh, we've got a fairly large region at risk all the way from Wales into parts of the Midlands through mo uh, most of Northern England there, uh, and then into parts of Scotland, especially Southern and Southwestern Scotland. That's where we're going to see anything from zero centimetres of snow, so just falling snow, to perhaps a couple centimetres accumulation. And like I said, locally some areas in here could see more. And then we've got three purple zones uh, where at various points during Saturday and Sunday we could see longer, perhaps more organised spells of snow, possibly as much as two to six centimetres, uh, especially across southwest Scotland, parts of northwest England and southern Scotland, and parts of the Midlands and Wales. So looking a bit more specifically at those different risks now, we're going to use the uh, high resolution French model uh, and uh, this is I find kind of got a fairly good handle on the precipitation and therefore the snowfall risk uh, and you can see continued showers across the east coast uh, as we go into the evening and then we'll have to watch for this very small uh, and quite disorganized low pressure system uh, during the early hours of tomorrow this as it pushes uh, northwest into parts of uh, northwest England and south of Scotland and then south of Scotland here this will uh, perhaps organize into a longer spell of snow perhaps bringing a few centimeters uh, sorry of accumulation um, as it uh, kind of moves into Saturday uh, afternoon there with also the risk of snow across parts of Wales uh, and this event here uh, as you can see could bring um, a few centimeters of accumulation into these regions here possibly as much as five centimeters or so on the higher ground especially across the lake district we could locally see a fairly significant significant amount of snow from these kind of uh, bands of precipitation pushing in uh, during tomorrow into the afternoon and then notice we get another weak low starting to organize just in the Irish Sea during Saturday evening. Now as this moves eastwards during the night we're likely to see a spell of perhaps more significant snow across the Midlands uh, and you can see there's going to be a fine line between rain and snowfall with the southern half of this band uh, towards southern England including London. Unfortunately you're going to see most likely to be rain at this stage and then areas further north so the Midlands into northern England looking likely to be at least uh, a kind of falling wet snow and if not possibly accumulating snow especially considering it will be during the kind of early hours uh, the night time when temperatures should be lower if we take a look at the possible forecast accumulations uh, it's worth not taking these too literally but it'll give you a nice idea of the kind of event we can see and as you can see here through this kind of region from wales into parts of north uh, northern england and the midlands uh, possibly one centimetres fairly widely and in some spots as much as uh, five centimetres maybe even a bit higher especially over higher ground and where the precipitation lasts the longest just for some kind of cross-model agreement taking a look at the European model you can see uh, the European model shows the kind of initial snow threat uh, during this evening and into uh, tomorrow morning across parts of uh, South West Scotland and North West England with continued snow showers into the evening of those regions uh, and then we get our band of precipitation pushing east into parts of the Midlands and Northern England maybe a bit of sleep for the south but it's not looking too promising uh, and this scenario would bring uh, if it did occur fairly widespread accumulations though the ECMWF model always overdoes uh, these kind of numbers so I would bring 
that down kind of by around kind of two or three centimeters uh, in this forecast but still don't take these too literally because these will change but you can kind of start to pick out the general pattern um, by now of a uh, fairly widespread um, with kind of those westerly kind of showers turning to snow and that band of snow moving in uh, in this kind of region here a fairly widespread and possibly locally significant event though it's worth saying some models such as the icon model do not show as much uh, precipitation sorry as much snow uh, but it's fairly similar track uh, and you could assume here a few centimeters in this region there so that's the kind of saturday sunday risk um, out of the way there's slightly more uncertainty uh, for this event but as we see a low pressure pushed in from the south during Sunday night and into Monday, we could see another snow risk developing on the north, along the northern edge of that, particularly across northern England and uh, Midlands and Wales uh, is currently modelled to be most at risk. However, I do have a slight concern. It could be not much snow, more of a wintry mix. Uh, the Arpeg model here shows a snow risk, but mainly just to high ground of Wales there, potentially adding on a couple of centimetres to the, the accumulation. The GFS uh, shows a uh, more significant event uh, likely because it's dragging in slightly cold air and allowing a spell of snow for a few hours across from the midlands and north wales which would probably give as much as five centimeters or so now this is quite an uncertain event here the dalmatian plot from the european model illustrates that quite nicely all of the different dots are showing the different possible locations of the low pressure uh, on uh, uh, monday lunchtime and as you can see we have a very wide range of where the low could be so while there are some models showing a snow risk for Monday, uh, it's too early to say with any confidence um, if places will see snow and if it will be significant. But if you are in the zone of North Mid uh, kind of the Midlands, Northern England and uh, Wales, especially in higher ground, do keep an eye on the forecast as the snow risk could increase. But that's about it everyone. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.